previously on Nomad Travel Adventures. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a great day because I think that today is going to be a pretty jam-packed day. Now it was time for touristy stuff. I had been going really fast up to this point and it was the only part of the trip I hadn't really planned. So I let fate take care of my destiny in Jaipur. I really want to see some elephants, you know? My wish came true as I was surprised to meet a line of elephants taking random tourists up to the palace. I am going to meet the driver and he is going to take me to go sightseeing. The Amber Palace. This is a place where you could easily spend up to a couple hours and still not see everything. Tourists from all over the world were flocking to this palace to admire its beauty. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I haven't planned anything. I'm the worst about this. Our first stop would be the architecturally intricate Shard Bari, which is one of the deepest and largest step balls in India. Anyways, you guys tag along with me and let's get ready to see some of Jaipur. This time, I'd go do a little bit of shopping. Only no cameras were allowed, but I will tell you this. As a general rule for shopping in India, get good at haggling. Right now, we're gonna go to the city palace and then I will take you somewhere else. So, yeah, let's go. Sorry, so I just forgot to mention, um, if you have a student card, make sure you bring it because look I got my ticket it's usually a thousand I got it down to 400 just by using my student card so yes if you're a student bring your ID so as it turns out Jaipur really did have a lot to see and explore which is why I headed to the city palace for a look time was actually against me so I didn't hesitate to go in and it was actually the first time I started to understand why they called it the Pink City. Even though it was a race against the clock, I stopped to admire the spectacle of this palace. It was different than the Amber Palace and felt somehow more regal. The crowds gathered as a show paraded throughout a square. I was, after all, in India. Soon it was time to leave and head over to Jantar Mantar. I wasn't sure what to expect. Just a little note to self, weirdly enough, um, this is the number one tourist attraction here in Jaipur, so I guess it's worth checking out. I stepped into architectural heaven. A world UNESCO site, this place was a mix of modern architecture and old world culture. Never had I seen structures quite so complex. In my mind, it was hard for it to sink in. Was I really in India? This seemed a bit far-fetched from the traditional culture I had come to know and love. And yet somehow, it fit in perfectly. Hey guys, so I'm currently here at Jantam Rantar. As you can see, we got some really cool architectural stuff going on. And um, frankly, I'm a little sick of doing touristy stuff. I just did City Palace, Jantar Mentar. Tomorrow, Monkey Palace, for sure. That should be a little bit more exciting. I mean, I like the stuff, don't get me wrong. It's just, once you do like two in a row, it's kind of like, oh, I gotta get out of here. I was racing against time, which meant I had to say goodbye and exit the whimsical world of Jantar Mentar and step into the most anticipated part of my adventure. 
Okay, so I just asked Sundar what he thought we should do next, and he said the Wind Palace. This is actually the one thing I'm looking forward to. It's a seven minute walk from here, and there's problem parking, so we're just gonna walk there. Yeah, just stay tuned. With the illusion of the pink palace in my head, I strolled over to the following destination on my journey. There had been so many pictures and talk of the Wind Palace, my head went into overdrive. What was it like? Would there be many people inside? And why was it one of the most photographed on Instagram? Okay, so I just want you guys to see how ridiculous this is walking down the street. I'm gonna see how many people ask me if I wanna buy something. Stay tuned. But before I could find out, I had to go through the battle of the walking tours. It was a jungle out there, and evading the hungry eyes of the praying salesmen lining up the streets proved to be worthless. But soon, I would see my suite. And there it was, the Wind Palace in all her glory. But to my surprise, you couldn't go in. I had hurried all this way just to look at it from the outside. So as you guys can see, the Wind Palace is right behind me. Um, this is one of the reasons why this is known as the Pink City. So yeah, I didn't get to go inside because I don't think that that's the thing you do, which was really surprising. But if you get close to it, the architecture looks really awesome. I definitely got a lot of footage for you guys. This is a really, really busy part of the city. I mean, everyone's always trying to sell you something. So whenever you come, just be prepared to, you know, haggle with people or buy souvenirs. Although uh, my driver did say not to buy any clothing here because it does have chemicals. So do be careful with what you buy and know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Besides that, I would say that the Wind Palace was not something what I thought it would be. I thought it would be something you go inside, but definitely it's worth checking out, so come and see that. Disappointed, I couldn't believe the hype. Still, it had been worth it. Plus, I had gained some much-needed time, or so I thought. Like my videos? Subscribe for more.